Albedo. Greetings, fellow stargazers. I'm James Elbury, director of the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. Although the Moon, Venus, and Jupiter are often the brightest objects in our night sky, did you know that the Moon isn't as bright as you think? Plus, two of those bright objects are on their way to a super close encounter in a few months. What are we talking about? Let's show you. Alrighty, we have our skies set up for just after sunset in the early part of next week facing west. On Tuesday, April 21st, you'll see a slender, waxing crescent moon among the stars of Taurus the Bull. As the sky gets darker, you may see a phenomenon that is often referred to as the old moon in the new moon's arms. If you look at the dark portion of the moon, you'll barely make out the pattern of the man in the moon hiding in the darkness. And you can spot this every month within a few days after new moon. That's right, James. What you're seeing is called earth shine. This happens when sunlight reflected from the earth illuminates the nighttime side of the moon. Typically, this results in the moon's nighttime side being bathed in a soft, faint light. We astronomers use the term albedo to describe the reflectivity of a planet or moon. When the moon is full, it seems like the brightest thing around. In actuality, the moon has almost the same reflectivity as charcoal. You might be surprised to know that the moon's albedo is a pitiful 0.136. This means that barely 14% of the sunlight striking the moon's surface is reflected back into space. Earth's albedo is a little larger. Since we have fluffy white clouds and continents that are occasionally covered with snow, Earth's albedo is at 39% or 0.39. Venus, however, wins on the reflectivity scale. Since Venus is perpetually covered in a thick layer of clouds, it has an albedo of almost 70% at 0.69. If the moon's albedo were that high, we probably wouldn't need streetlights. And looking at the stars would be nearly impossible during the gibbous and full phases of the moon. Hooray for charcoal colored moons. Now, if that weren't exciting enough, did you know that the boundary between the daytime and nighttime side of the moon actually has a name? We astronomers call it the Terminator. Hasta la vista, baby. No, not that Terminator. Oh. But we'll be back. On April 21st, take a look to the right of the moon and you'll see our sister planet, Venus, named after the Roman goddess of beauty and love. When Venus is visible just after sunset, we early evening stargazers like to call Venus the evening star. And when Venus is visible just before sunrise, we early morning stargazers refer to Venus as the morning star. As the weeks pass, you'll notice that Venus is slowly making a trek across the sky to a close encounter on June 30th with the second brightest planet in the solar system, giant Jupiter. Even though Jupiter is many times farther from us than Venus, Jupiter is bright because not only is it covered with clouds, it's huge. Jupiter is almost 88,000 miles in diameter and has an albedo of over 50% at 0.52. So on most nights when Jupiter is on the same side of the sun as we are, Jupiter rivals Venus in brightness. The trick for telling Jupiter from Venus with the naked eye is that Venus is always near the sun because it orbits closer to the sun than we do. Jupiter, on the other hand, has a larger orbit than we do, so it can appear up to 180 degrees away from the sun in the sky. However, no matter where Jupiter appears in the sky, it's always dimmer than Venus. As our position in the solar system changes, the planets, which are also orbiting the sun, will appear to change position against the background stars. So as our perspective changes, Jupiter will appear to rise earlier and earlier, and Venus will be setting later and later. And on the night of June 30th, they'll appear right next to each other in what we call a conjunction or a super scoochie. So, mark your calendars. So get outside and soak up some reflected sunlight from the three brightest objects in our night sky. The Moon, Venus, and Jupiter. Keep, Keep looking, looking up. up.